Well, here we are, Monday morning. Oh, that's a better now, isn't it? Warming up a bit, I think. It's good for everybody. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for all the, the phoning and all, and you know, about the scam that we had. And uh, well, we have changed our passwords, I got to say that. That's all done and all set and cured. But you feel as though that they've been in your house robbing me, especially when whoever this, these people are asking for money. Um, it's terrible, terrible. I hope nobody's um, fallen foul of it. But anyhow, after this, what I'm doing this morning, I'm, the, the, the computer's going to be taken away and um, the firm's going to have a look. And Because uh, everybody leaves a trail. So we're going to see where that trail leads to. Anyhow, I just hope that um, we're all all right and staying safe. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be nice, isn't it? And thing. Now, look, I've got three little birthdays here today. Michael Barnaby is one of them. So it's happy birthday to you, Michael. That's today. And Rachel Palmer. The uh, Cornish Glass Maiden, she done some fantastic things for us for uh, Salvation Army on uh, Saturday. And we raised a fantastic amount of money. Anyhow, so um, thank you, Rachel. Happy birthday. Well, three days ago, last Friday was her birthday. So happy birthday to you on Friday gone. And then uh, tomorrow is Jane Nebo, another great friend of mine, Reverend Jane Nebo. So happy birthday tomorrow, Jane. Now, I'm doing Herbert Lean one. Stop picking out the currants and eating them, Richard Henry, says Mother, as she was mixing a bowl of flour to make a cake. Go Aunt Lizzie and Uncle John are coming to tea. I just say there's not I just say there's nothing like making cake or cleaning your hands. You ought to see mine when I started. Oh beastly they was. Is Aunt Lizzie older than Uncle John? Don't know about that, replied Feather, but she got more brains. Why well, last time they was here he couldn't find his hat when, when he was going home. And he hadn't pawn his head, he did. And he would have gone home without him if she didn't tell him where it was. Now, says Mother, Richard Henry, I want ye to be a fitty. Leave the company. See that you've been brought up nice. Uncle John got whiskers like a cat, says Richard Henry. Don't you dare make fun of your uncle. I'll have you know his father was a soldier and lost a leg at Waterloo. Which platform, said Richard Henry. That made Mother laugh so much she had to sit down. I don't see nothing laugh at, says Feather, for it don't make no difference which, which platform twas. Well, time is getting on. Go on in and light the fire in the front room, Feather. People don't eat as much when the room is hot. Can Richard Henry do it? He's getting a big boy now. Besides, who's boss here anyhow? No, he's changed, says Mother. Richard Henry, you get your got your coat all caggled with door. Scrape him off at once. I only got enough to make one cake. Feather got some sticks and coal and pepper and went into the front room and Mother got on with the bacon. After a time, Mother, mother remarked, Feather gone some quiet. Run us in, see what's he doing. He's reading the newspaper, said Richard Henry. I can see him through the keel. Father started singing, for men must work and women must weep. Can anybody smell anything burning? Well, that's my cake. Tis all your fault. I know someone was going out, and says Mother. Last night I dreamed I saw a bird. Hark. What's all that row in the front room? In rushed Richard Henry, says the jackdaw come down the chimney. Room is covered with soot and the jackdaw's picking them currants out of the buns. My dream is out. Catch him, Feather. Catch him. Easier said than done. Feather made a grab at the bird and scat over a jam filled with flowers. The crow by this time had climbed up on Grandmother's photo on the wall. Keep us quiet and I'll have him. Doesn't he scat Grandmother down, says Mother, or she'll come back and on to Leave sleeping dogs lie, I just say. Father crept after the poor frightened crow, and just as he grabbed him, he fell over the cat with a photo on top of him. I got him, I got him, he shouted. Hold on to him, said Richard Henry, but that bird flapped his wings, dived his beak into feathers, and flew straight through one of the window panes with a crash. He come in by himself and didn't want no out out. Whatever shall, shall us do, says Mother, looking upon all my best things. Shut up, there's somebody knocking says mother. Tis they. I know tis. Don't answer the door. Keep quiet. But answer the door. I'll go. So Feather, he opened the door and there stood a little boy with a note which read, Sorry, we can't come to tea for the sow is in trouble again. Love from Aunt Lizzie and Uncle Joe. Father started to sing, Praise God from all who blessings flow. Take care. Bye-bye now.